on your jargon. How about you, okay? Sherilyn Barnes say, um, I've got a story for you. I've got a couple of stories, actually. I've just got back from my friend's place, Winnie, my girlfriend, because this morning I had to catch the bus over to Winnie's because her daughter's ex-girlfriend, Lizzie's, they used to live together and then my girlfriend's daughter accidentally killed her goldfish and then that sparked this big fight and they were blowing and punch up, biting and scratching and pulling hair, all of it. You should see her, she's got chunks of hair ripped out of her head. But anyway, um, so the daughter's moved back in with Winnie. Apparently the girlfriend, she's lost the plot. She's like, you kill my fish, I'll kill the dog. You know, the family dog. And I don't like dogs, but, you know, don't make threats to go and kill dogs. Don't be fucking ridiculous. So she called me up fucking almost nine o'clock this morning and she said, Candace has gone fucking berserk and she reckons she's going to come over and kill the dog and she's going to belt us up. I said, she's not going to fucking do shit. I'll come over, I'll bring me baseball bat. She gets one side of me, she'll be fuck. You know, she'll leave the country. That's the thing with some of these lizzies, they're all mouth. Not all of them. But lots of them are. I actually walked down the bus stop because I used to get Terry to do it. But since I've been walking and losing all this fucking weight, I walked down to the bus stop with my baseball bat. <laughs> if people didn't know me, they would have thought I was a real piece of shit. <laughs> anyway, so I get to the bus stop and there's some woman there with Bubba in the pram. So I sat down. I said, hi, oh, how are you? And she said, oh, good, thank you. A little bit weird. I said, oh, well, that's good. I said, oh, the bus passed the hospital being yet? And she says, oh, I don't know. I'm not catching that bus. I thought, all right. You know, so we're sitting there for a while and she gets up. She walks to the pram. She looks back at me and gives me a smirk. Gets baby out of the pram. Sits back down. Looks at me. And I just gave her a smile. Next thing you know, she's flopped out a boob, baby on the end of the nipple. You know, I didn't say anything, but I must have rolled my eyes or something because she looks at me and she says, have you got a problem? I said, no, I don't have a problem. You're entitled to do it. There's no law against it to say that you can't do it. So if you want to do it right here and there, you can do it. And she goes, well, I think you've got a problem with it. I said, I've got no problem. And she goes, well, I actually know exactly who you are. I said, sorry? She goes, I've seen your YouTube slutty breastfeeding. I said, oh, here we go. I said, oh, so you're doing a big protest, are you? She says, no, I'm just doing what I'm allowed to do. This is my right. I said, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. You've got every right to do it. And if I was in charge of the law, you would have no right to do it. She says, oh, so now I'm not allowed to feed my baby. I said, all right, you're right, you're right. You would have the right to do it. Behind closed doors. I said, there's no reason for you to be just doing it out in the street. I don't know you from a block of soap. Do you think I want to be seen it? She says, don't look. I said, right, right. I said, if I can tear a halal on the jowls in the street, fucking hacking in the summer with a machete, I don't like it, so I'm just not meant to look. And she goes, oh, so now I'm a terrorist. I said, I did not say that. Don't be ridiculous. And she goes, you were just saying that me nursing my child was exactly the same as a terrorist opening machete up in the street. I said, what I'm saying is, you've told me not to look. I said, I come to this bus stop a few times a week. I come here, I never see you here. She goes, yeah, I don't live around here. I said, exactly, I do live around here. Now you're telling me, someone what's a citizen of fucking Bradbury, turn away, don't look. And she goes, oh, don't be ridiculous. I said, I'm not being ridiculous. I said, nurse your child, you've got every right, but I don't like it, plain and simple. She goes, well, I don't like some of the shit you say on your YouTube. But I said, yeah, well, a hell of a lot of people do like it. A hell of a lot of people agree. And she goes, a hell of a lot of people are idiots. I said, oh, yeah, why are we idiots? Still fucking sitting there with a fucking tit out. She says, this is the most natural thing in the world. I have been blessed with the miracle of a child. I said, a miracle. She goes, yes. I said, your child's a miracle. And she goes, yes, all children are miracles. I said, all right, so something that pretty much every single woman on the face of the earth has the ability to do is a fucking miracle? Sorry, sweetheart, your baby ain't a miracle. 
And she goes, yeah, well, it's a rejection. I think it actually is. And I said, well, I don't. I don't think my daughter's a miracle. I think my daughter's very far from a fucking miracle. She goes, can you not swear? I said, she's fucking six months old. And she goes, she's almost ten months old. I said, look, immaterial, I do not care. I said, end of the day, sorry, I don't think she's a miracle. She goes, well, that doesn't matter. I think my daughter is a miracle. But she says, but anyway, it's the most natural thing in the world. She goes, what's your problem with it? I said to her, I said, all right, if I was to just walk into a bar one night, rip my top off and just put my tits out in everyone's face. There's nothing wrong with that. And she goes, am I doing that? I said, it's the same thing. Men stay. And what she says, she goes, breasts are not sexual things. They're for feeding babies. I said, that is a load of fucking shit. And she goes, they're not for feeding babies? I said, yeah, they're for feeding babies. But they're sexual as well. I said, you telling me when you made this gorgeous miracle... You had a bra on, fanny out and bra on. No attention on your tits whatsoever. And she goes, oh, you don't need to be vulgar. I said, no, seriously. Did you have your bra on? She goes, obviously I didn't have my bra on. I'm like, oh, you were just feeding that baby as well. Your husband, big baby. I said to her, I said, your tits might be for feeding babies, but they're also for making men happy. Lots of things on our bodies have double meanings you know and as i said before i said you know my family that one's got three different functions you've got your sex you've got for the baby to come out of and you've got doing a piece lots of those are the most natural things in the world maybe i should just rip my pants and undies off and walk around and just do a piss right here she says you're disgusting and i grabbed my baseball bat and i said sorry and she goes yeah, well, listen to what's coming out of your mouth. I said, listen to the shit coming out of your mouth. You're the one talking shit, sitting there trying to stir me up breastfeeding. Your baby probably is not even hungry. You saw me. You got a flash in your head of my YouTube slutty breastfeeding. And she goes, oh, and you think it's slutty? I said, it was a bit of fun. Don't be ridiculous. I said, when you make YouTubes, you put words on it that make people go and watch it. And sorry, but I think some girls... Do do it for attention. And she goes, anyway, well, I'm done talking to you. And I thought, you fucking bitch. And I thought to myself, I thought, if you weren't nursing that baby, I wouldn't hit you with a baseball bat, but I'd probably slap you in the mouth. Fucking smart ass. So the bus gets here, pulls up, and as I stand up, I hear this bird fucking muttering, saying something under her breath, and I thought, that'd be right. Just as I'm about to leave, you got to start mouthing off again. So I didn't know what to do, so instinct just kind of took over sort of thing. So as I was getting onto the bus, it'd been raining, so there was like muddy dirt all on the concrete. And as I was getting onto the bus, I flicked it up. I acted like it was an accident, but I absolutely meant it. And all this mud sort of flung up on on Miss Byrne, went in her hair and a baby or whatever, and I went, oh, sorry. <laughs> and she's gritting her teeth and shaking her head at me. <laughs> Got off the bus, went to Winnie's. There was absolutely no drama. You know, Lizzie's all mouth. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I spent the day at Winnie's and Terry was actually coming home from work. So he collected me on the way through. As we were going home, I was telling him what happened with the bird and the breastfeeding and the, you know. And I said to him, I said, and as I left, I flung the mud up on her and she got the shits. And he says, oh, that's fucked, Sherilyn. I said, sorry? I said, no, she was sitting there being a smart ass. She deserved it. He says, what if she goes to the police? I said, oh, they'll laugh at her, Terry. Oh, some lady flung dirt up on me. Please send her to jail. I said, they wouldn't do shit. He goes, well, you wouldn't like it if someone did it to you. I said, if someone did it to me, I would laugh it off. Bit of dirt, big deal. He goes, oh, fucking bullshit. I said, sorry? He goes, if someone did it to you, you'd be fucking posting about it for a month. There'd be a fucking... Eight episode YouTube epic saga about it. I said, I'll oh, fuck up, Terry. I said, you don't even start a YouTube site because no one wants to fucking listen to you anyway. It's all about me. And then he goes, oh, what do you say? He says, the fame's gone to your head. And I said, fuck off, idiot. You know, so we just sat there in silence and just got home. So I've come in, set up the YouTube and... Here we are. So, um, you know, back to the breastfeeding. I'm just getting sick to death of all those young ones. They think they, 
They know everything, you know. They've got a baby, so they're all automatically queens. Sorry, darling. Having a kid and not brushing your hair doesn't mean you're a fucking queen. I did a lot more. I kept my house tidy when I had a young one. I never breastfed out in public. And I never called myself a fucking queen. So, whatever. Just my opinion. That's what YouTube's all about. All different sorts of opinions sort of thing. You know, so what do you think? What do you think? Do you think doesn't matter where you are, you should just rip your clothes off and start feeding your children? Or do you think you should have just a little bit of modesty, you know, do the right thing, go behind a closed door, even put a blanket over yourself. Feed the child under a blanket, you know. Any place you go, there's usually a different sort of room. They've even got mother's rooms now in shopping centres. I'm sure if you're at a bus stop and you need to feed the baby, the baby can wait 10 or 15 minutes. Pretty sure they could wait half an hour if they had to. What do you think? All right, let's leave it at that. Um, you can add me on my Twitch site, at Sherilyn Barnes. Hashtag breastfeeding warrior queen. <laughs> Fucking queen. <laughs> or add me on my Facebook site, www.facebook.com slash Sherilyn Barnes AU for Australia. Make sure you add me on my Instagram site, at Sherilyn Barnes. Add me on my Snapchat site, Shez buns and make sure you go and click subscribe so you can see all the YouTubes that I've done before and every single one that will come out in the future days. Alright my chookies, pussy kiss <laughs> and um, ciao for now. <laughs> Paul comes up behind Sean, starts doing his buttons up and I thought this is fun. And I said to him, your finger's gone spastic or something, Sean. And then Paul goes, oh, Sherilyn, don't say that. And I said, oh, I'm just asking.